It's the Matrix, we stuck in it. I'm not loving it. Fuck this shit, man. The government knows that we outnumber it. The four horsemen of the apocalypse, false religious documents, media, corporations, and politics. You think your lack of common sense don't have a consequence? We're fucking doomed unless we elevate our consciousness. The new world order, man. These people just won't compromise. Hi, welcome to the JT Anti New World Order Movement. Um, uh, we are you're here with uh, Camille and myself, Katrina and Billy. Say hi. Hey, hi, I'm here. Billy is here, and we're going to. Uh, we finally do have um, our guests. We were uh, we have been hoping to talk to. Uh, we finally have her here to talk with us. Uh, she, Yay. yeah, she is the. Uh, uh, she wishes to go by the number one original Negan's girl and she is the family member the first cousin of actor and comedian Dave Chappelle and um, she is here to uh, regale us with the facts regarding what happened to Dave Chappelle um, from the time that you know uh, he walked away from his Comedy Central show to uh, to now um, but she wishes to have her voice remain anonymous so her voice will be distorted to keep her her um, anonymity. So um, we have her here, and without further ado, uh, Negan's girl, uh, the mic is yours. I would like to uh, talk about someone who, who was very dear to me, and some of you know who who he is. Some of you have laughed at his comedy. Some of you have uh, have gone to his shows and have fallen out of your seats or your chairs or what have you because of the of the um the comedy that he gave you and that person is my cousin david chappelle david chappelle and i were first cousins and i'm not going to continue saying david chappelle i'm going to use his first name because i've already introduced him and i as cousins first cousins and we are the chappelles Okay, David and I, we were very, very close. There were times when David and I would talk. I had his cell phone number and he had mine and we would talk for hours on end. There was nothing that David would not or could not tell me and vice versa with me to him. I mean, you know, David had lots of of Chappelle family members, and he had lots of cousins. But, you know, but somehow or another, David and I, we became very close as our family cousin members. And, um, you know, and, and, and we just, we just, you know, we just felt comfortable around each other. David was my yin and I was his yang, or vice versa, as you want to put it, but we were very close. Okay, David was married to his wife Elaine, as as some of you all may know, she was a Filipino. Uh, well, she is a well, she is a Filipino, and his mother's name was um, you know we called her Aunt Yvonne, and um, he has a brother. His brother is named after um, David's father, uh, William. He's a junior, and then David has a sister whose name is uh, Felicia, and she is a full practicing. Muslim. Well, David was a, you know, he was a Muslim as well. And David had, him and his wife Elaine has uh, two sons along with a daughter and their names, I'm not going to give you out their names, but they have names of Muslims. So now, that's the initial um, concept of what I'm going to, uh, what I've said about uh, the relationship that David and I have had together okay now David loved his wife he loved that he loved that he loved Elaine he loved Elaine very much and he loved his mother especially after his father had died because um, you know his mother was the, the, the only thing that he had that he could cherish at that time you know and even today and uh, so he loved his wife he loved his mother and most of all David loved his family and he loved the farm and as you some of you may know he has a farm in Yellow Springs um, Ohio and he has a special name for that farm which I'm not going to discuss about but he calls that farm a certain name now 
and David, and on their farm is acres and acres of land. And I'm telling you, David was a responsible, a responsible person when it came to his wife, his children, his mother, uh, his, uh, his family, and particular their farm. Okay, as some of you may know, David had the Chappelle comedy show. And David was doing good on that show. I mean, he he was doing great. He and David loved that show. David has always loved to make people laugh, and you know, I mean, laugh sometimes until your stomach hurts or tears come out your eyes. He was very very funny, and David has always been a funny type person ever since the time he was a a, a young boy, you know, much much younger, and um, even when he would come to the to family reunions, he would always. You know, he would be the, 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 in the spot, like, making the family laugh, just laugh. And this is something that he always wanted to, to be, uh, uh, a comedian, to make people laugh. Well, um, come the time when David, he was the executive producer of the uh, Chappelle comedy show. And as I stated before, he was doing fine. He was doing great. Uh, uh, but David knew he had to be responsible for his wife, his children, his mother, and the farm, and for the rest of the members of the Chappelle family. And so he, he had to take things very serious and take the responsibility very heavy or high. So he did the uh, Chappelle comedy show, and one day he was called into the executive office and uh, so David went in, and when he went there, he saw all of these executives and others that were around this table, and they had David uh, uh, surrounded like a clock, 12. Okay, and it made David a little nervous because he thought he was talking to a few executives but not a whole slew of them and other people as well. So he went in to, to, to talk to the executive and they had him surrounded, <clears throat> excuse me, like a clock number, and he being at the center of, as number 12, you know, like a clock, you know, picture in your mind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and all of them surrounded, and David was at the top being number 12. Okay, now, do you get my drift now? Okay, so <clears throat> now and I also want to say this as well, that before I really get into detail about what they said and what they did uh, to, to David. <clears throat> now, it's just like when you go for a job and they want you in that job for a certain period of time or, you know, or even a short period of time. When you go on a job, you have papers that you have to sign before you can even, uh, uh, you know, have that position in that facility or what have you. So you have to sign a piece of paper, and especially if they want you there uh, for a long period of time and you are on a salary, not paid per hour, but on a salary. Okay, so <clears throat> you're going to have to sign a piece of paper, and that states that you are with that company and you are there for that period of time. And that is sort of like a contract. Well, for David to uh, uh, have his own show, the Chappelle show, even though he was um, uh, 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 the executive producer of that show, he still had to sign a contract. Now, some of you are thinking that he signed his name in blood before he left the executive office, but I'm here to tell you he did not. The only thing David signed when he first got into the industry uh, or the entertainment world to appear on the Chappelle show was a contract stating that the Chappelle show would go on for a certain length of period, a time for that season. You understand what I'm saying to you? For that season. Then after that season was up, uh, then he, he would sign another contract for the next season. And it went on like that. And, you know, so, you know, when David went into the office, to the executive office, he had just finished up the second season. Okay. 
Now, so they had him at this table, and there was the executives as well as others who were in the office as well. Uh, so they uh, they asked David, they told him he was doing fine on the show. Great, the show was great, David, but except for one exceptional thing. And David asked, what? And they told David they wanted him to uh, upgrade or downgrade, I should say, on the black race. Uh, as far as the characters he was betraying, they wanted David to ease up off, you know, making the black characters look as stupid as he was betraying them. They wanted him to ease up off the black race. They wanted him to uh, make the black race more intellectual, more, uh, you get what I'm saying. They wanted him to, you know, to quit it. You know, to, to, to quit, you know, just hopping on the black race and making them look nonsense. Well, David said, you know, to the executives and then some who were in the room, I don't understand what you're talking about. He said, because I do or I portray the characters of the black race just like I portray the characters of the white race. And I can't do that. I can't do that. I have to keep both of them on the same level. Well, they didn't mind David downgrading on the uh on the uh, white race, but they wanted him to quit downgrading, period, on the black race. And David said, no, well, I, can't, I can't do that. And so then they said, okay, David, we're gonna make a deal with you. And David said, a deal? They said, yes, a deal. They told David, we'll give you $50 million, $50 million if you could uh, come and join our team and, and be a part of us and, 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 and this and that, and, and they told him some other things, which I'm not going to discuss, but you can rest assured the things that they said to David, to, t to tell him what he what he could do and what he couldn't do, and this and that, and then the torture that they had, and the pressure that they was, but they put pressure on this man, on David uh, at that time of the meeting, Okay, and uh, David said, no, well, um, if I accept $50 million from you, what would my fans think? And they said to David, this, well, your fans already think that you are uh, a crack addict from the characters that you betray. You know, David, they already think that, you know, <laughs> you know that, you are, that you are a pothead, that you are a, a, a drug head. So, you know, it doesn't matter what your fans think, it's what you would, are willing to accept. And then they went on to put the pressure on him once more. And David, he, he, he said, no, 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 no. I, I can't accept it. I can't accept the 50 million, and I cannot uh, uh, stop portraying the black race as the same as the white race. He said, I, I, no, I can't do it. I can't. You all want me to stop making the black race look foolish, but just continue. No, I can't do it. I have to treat you. The characters that I portray, it has to be on equal level. You have to understand, David wasn't trying to make the black race look foolish. The only thing that he was doing comedy, just like Richard Pryor, just like uh, 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 Bernie Mac, uh, you know, just like any other uh, top comedian of long ago, and today, Red Fox, you know, he, he wasn't, because see, David knew he was a black man, and David knew where his roots came from. He knew where his roots came from. And so David wasn't trying to make the black race look foolish. No, he was a comedian. He was telling jokes. And just as he he, he did a, 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 a character of a black person uh, uh, with big white, you know, with the cocaine and all that stuff, with the white lips and, and what have you, well, he did the same thing, well, not the same thing, but he portrayed the white, you know, as the same. <clears throat> so one thing I have to give credit to David about, David believed that he believed in keeping both races on an equal level. And then you got to take in granted and and, and, and and for granted too that David was a comedian. Richard Pryor used to do it all the time. Richard Pryor stood up there and talked about the the, the the black race and how they, you know, this and that and that and that and you know and then he went on and he said the same thing about the white race, this and that and this and all that. But the reason why, <clears throat> excuse me, the reason why they wanted David 
to quit being uh, uh, or, or quit having uh, the blacks to be foolish in the roles or the characters that he was playing was because at that time they knew they had gotten word of that eventually there was going to be a black man to be ushered in as our new president. And they and, and they wanted people all over to think that, you know, that black people were not this way and black people were not that, that way because they were ushering in Obama. That's why they wanted and David, you know, he wasn't going he, he wasn't for that. <clears throat> okay. So David told these executives <clears throat> excuse me, David told these executives, he said, Well, let me think about this thing for a while. He said, because I can't give you an answer right now. He said, because all that you have said to me, you know, is something where I got to think about. He said, I just, I just can't give you an answer right now. And so with that, when David left out of that office, David called me. Now, I don't know whether he called his, his brother William or not. I don't know anything about that. But David called me and told me everything that they said to him in the executive office. David told me everything from A to Z. And what David told me, it caused me to get a headache. They, um, and, it, and if I had been in that room, and it would have scared the hell out of me. Because it, in fact, scared the hell out of David Chappelle. And David told me, when upon talking to me, he said, cuz, I got to go. And I said, you got to go? He said, yes, I got to get out of here. I said, well, David, out of here where? He said, I'm going to Africa. And he said, I said, well, David, you're going to Africa? He said, he said I got to get my hair clear. I got these things. He said, I, I just have to have my own peace of mind. And he, I said, well, have you told? He said, well, I, what about Elaine, David? He said, well, I'll, I'll deal with Elaine. I'll call Elaine later. He said, but right now, I got to go. Now, the only, and I found out later, the only person that David had told of going to Africa was me, his brother William, and I think there was a possibility that it was Neil uh, uh, Brennan. Uh, and, 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 and there's a highly thinkable on that. So, David went on, and I, when I told David before, he, you know, before our conversation, I said, David, you go and do what you have to do. And I said, and, uh, but let me know when you get back in town. Okay. Some of you asked, why did he go to Africa? Because David was a practicing Muslim. And David went to Africa because he knew uh, his faith was over there, his faith. And he knew that practicing Muslims was over there and they would guide him or steer him uh, in the right direction. <clears throat> because you now his sister was a, and is today a practicing Muslim. Now, remind you, now I want to remind you that when David went to Africa, where he was going, no one knew him because David told him the telephone, he said, now, because where I'm gone, he said, where I'm going, no one knows me. He said, I, I hope they don't, because I hope they don't. He said, but I'm going there because I, I realize and I understand that there are Muslims over there. He said, but I don't know them, and they don't know me. And so I said, well, well David, go on and do what you have to do. I said, well, just, let, just, just let me know when you get back. So that's what David did. He went on, and while David was away, I received phone calls. And I don't know whether... Uh, uh, David's brother William received any phone calls because David's uh, brother William, him and I, we were not as close as David and I were. Me and David, me, me and David, we were tight boys cousins. And so, but I know I received phone calls uh, asking, have you seen David? Do you know where David is? Even on the street, people would ask me, you know, yeah, uh, this David, he's gone. I mean, you know, David Chappelle, he's gone. You know, do you know where he's at? And I knew where David was. But I could not tell anyone because I told David during our conversation that I would never tell anyone unless he, unless he told me to tell them. And he told me on the telephone 
because I, you know, I, I want you to not let anyone know where I'm going. Going, and I reminded them today, what about Elaine? He said, I'll, I'll, I'll call Elaine later on. He said, but right now I got to go. So no one knew where David was. No one. Okay, and I knew that after what David had told me about the uh, meeting um, with the executives, that I felt really good that David got the hell away. David went away to Africa. Stayed there for a while. When David got ready to call, come back, David called me and said, Cuz, I'm back in town. Well, he, he let his wife know, and everything was fine there. And David, but when he called me, he told me, he said, um, I'm out of the entertainment world. I, 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 I don't want to do uh, uh, com uh, comedy on television anymore. He said, I I'm finished with all of that. I'm finished. I'm finished. I said, David, are you sure? He said, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with, with being on television, doing comedy. He said, what I, I want to go back to is doing comedy at the, uh, um, like the look, at little local uh, uh, comedy uh, um, uh, places. And I said, well, David, are you sure that's what you are? He said, yeah, because he said, I have enough money to take care of my family and my, my farm and my mother and, 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 and and people in my family said, but I just don't want to do any comedy on television. He said, you know, I'm, I'm done. And so I'll just do the local comedy at, at comedy uh, comedy clubs. So I said, okay, David. I said, well, I'm not, you know, this is what you want to put there, David. You know, once again, I want to ask you, David, did you sign your name and blood before you left uh, when you were in the executive's meeting? And so, David, because I told you, I didn't sign my name in any, in, that, hey, cuz, the only time I signed my name on the contract was to do the Chappelle show. And he said, and, uh, and, 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 I, and I'm done, I'm done with that now. But as far as me signing any other contract, as far as what they say, name and blood, no, I didn't do that. I said, okay, David, that's good. I just want to, I just want to make sure, so, you know, this, this time. So anyway, while talking to David, it gave me a sense of hope, you know, that David was going to be all right because he was finished with the, um, you know, this uh, uh, Chappelle show, the comedy show on, on, on television, and then he wasn't going to do any more appearance on any, on any other, uh, you know, uh, show. And so it, it, it gave me a sense of relief for him. But somehow or another, and I still give a question mark on this Neil Brennan because now Neil Brennan spoke some bad words about David and, and, and which I don't like and David heard about it and he didn't like it either. And uh, so because Neil Brennan was supposed to be one of Dave's, uh, David's uh, buddies. And for him to say, you know, to, to make a, a, a statement like he did, it was wrong. It was wrong. And I didn't like it. And the rest of the Chappelle family, we didn't like it. They didn't like it. And David didn't like it either. Okay, but they found out somehow that David was uh, was back in town and he was doing, you know, comedy at these little local comedy clubs and things like that. Then this one person... It, you know, it was put upon her to find out why David went to Africa. Okay, so now first David went to the uh, inside the actor's studio. Uh, he was asked to come and be on the show with the host there. And, um, they, you know, David was fine. He, he went on the show and the questions was asked to him. Uh, why did he, you know, why did he go to Africa and, 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 and what went down? And I remember that David I told exactly, you know, the same thing that I'm telling you now, um, and that how, you know, you know, the, the, this whole thing was kind of shaking, you know, and he didn't want no parts of him. Then he also went and uh, he told about uh, uh, Martin Lawrence. Now, uh, Martin Lawrence, you know, he, they did the same thing to him too. And, but Martin Lawrence, and no one today, we have not seen Martin Lawrence. No one knows where Martin Lawrence is. Because you know why? Martin Lawrence is dead. I mean, body, soul, spirit, dead. 
If you ever see a Martin Lawrence come back on the scene, it's because that Martin Lawrence, before they before they killed him, they made a clone of, of Martin Lawrence, and they have that clone in waiting. Waiting for what? I don't know. And uh, But Mar no one has seen Martin Lawrence. No one... I mean, no one knows anything about Martin Lawrence anymore. But if you ever, and I say say to you all who all are listening, if you see Martin Lawrence, then you know that he's a clone. And uh, because they were supposed to, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith was supposed to be, uh, they supposed to have done a film that was supposed to have came out uh, last summer. Would a film never did come out? Why? Because there was no Martin Lawrence. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just going to, so, you know, anyway, just wanted to share that with you, but um, Dave Chappelle went on went on went on a stage with you know and was in the audience with a group of uh, uh, young people there who were who were interested in becoming uh, comedians or co becoming uh, actors or what have you, and Dave went there to um, you know to tell them about the business about the Illuminati, because David felt <clears throat> that what they had said to him in the executive office. He wanted people to know what was going on, just as Martin Morris uh, uh, wanted people to know, just as Britney Spears wanted people to know, just as um, uh, some of the stars here today uh, want people to know about the Illuminati. So that's what David did. David wanted people to know uh, what they were doing to him and what they were all about. <clears throat> so this is what he said on, on this stage. So he told them, you know, uh, you know, to make sure that that was a sure thing for them to do, uh, to go into, you know, and he warned them, okay? And then the next person, and I, when I talked to David, I said, David, you should not go there. You should not go there. You should not go there. But David, he was so afraid <clears throat> that David wanted to expose uh, uh, the, the, the inner dog circle. He wanted to expose them. And so the next person uh, who invited David on their show was Oprah Winfrey. And <clears throat> Oprah Winfrey, and I told Dave, I said, Dave, please don't go there. He said, no, cuz, I'm going to be all right. He said, but I just want to let people, I want to talk, cuz, I want to talk. So I said, okay. <clears throat> so David went on that show. And uh, <clears throat> now, and if you notice or not, when David was on that show, on Oprah Winfrey's show, Oprah was trying to coach him along and say to him, but you did, you know, uh, you, you were stressful, stressful weren't you? <clears throat> and, and David was saying, no, uh -uh. I mean, well, you know, anybody was under stress of what they said to me in that office, but she wanted David to admit things that were not true with David, that was not going on uh, with David at that time. And if you also, if you watch that, the, sh the taping show of Oprah and David, if you notice that David was looking around to make sure that no one else was coming in behind him, David was fearful of even, of even being on the Oprah show. And then <clears throat> another thing, if you take notice or not, when Oprah was talking, David had his hand over his mouth and like he was saying to himself, Oprah, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. And so, <clears throat> but David was fearful of being on the Oprah Winfrey show. And not only with the appearance that he was making, the gestures and sort of thing and the looking around, but when David left the Oprah Winfrey show, I got a phone call. And who was a phone call? None other than David Chappelle. And he told me some things that he speculated of Oprah Winfrey. <clears throat> and I said, David, I told you not to go on that show. I told you not to go on that show. Because Oprah is already into that in, into that dark circle. Oprah is <clears throat> Oprah was the one that ushered Obama into office. And that's one of the reasons why they wanted uh, David to to quit on the blacks because Oprah ushered him in. Oprah was in favor of Obama getting getting into office. Oprah was behind Obama, uh, on the side of, of Obama, and as might as well say, in front of Obama. She got him into office. And I said, David, I, I, David, I told you not to go on that show. He said, well, I'm done. I'm done. Now, 
David, finally, once and for all, he got to know where Oprah Winfrey was coming from. David didn't, he didn't trust Oprah Winfrey, and he was glad that the show was over with. And he, David told me that when he left Oprah Winfrey, he had to keep looking over his shoulder because he didn't trust Oprah. And well, nobody that, you know, any of us, we know that Oprah is one of the queen bees, dark bees of the Illuminati. And so, uh, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't trust her. And so, but uh, David felt that it was over. Okay, now, <clears throat> David went home, um, and things began to happen to David, you know, leading up to the to the course of time for him to go back into the executive office. Well, I would, I should say, you know, but that's right. Things, things began, because now I'm not going to pinpoint the exact time and the exact date, but David was receiving threatening letters. He, re he received a package in the mail. Um, it was Bill Cosby. It was, uh, who was another? It was Bill Cosby. It was even Al that's why I don't. I, that's why I don't like Al Sharpton today. It was Bill Cosby, Al Sharpton. Um, it was a, a Whoopi Goldberg. And it was a few others that was into uh, putting the pressure on David to stop uh, this thing with the uh, with the black race. Now that was uh, that was before, and, and it was even even afterwards. But they were putting the pressure on him, and uh, so one day, so eventually down the line, David was you know doing his comedy in the local comedy clubs, but then he got a phone call again, and he said, uh, 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 he called me and told me he said, "Cause now what he said to his brother, I don't know." But I do know, because David wouldn't, like when David talked to his brother, he wouldn't tell his brother the conversation that him and I had. And uh, because David's brother and him, you know, they, they were family, but they wasn't like David and I were. And David would, uh, when he called and talked to me, he wouldn't tell me things that he told his brother. And um, when David called me again, he said, cuz. They called me again. I said, well, who called you again? He said, the, the executives. And he said, um, and uh, they want to talk to me one more time. And uh, they're thinking about the possibility of me doing the Chappelle show and doing it the way that I want to do it. I want to be, he said, because I, the only reason why I, I told them when I talked to them the last time that the only way I would do the Chappelle show again would be if I did it my way. And it will be set up on my terms. And so I, I received a phone call, and they want to talk to me about him. Well, my antennas went up. I said, David, now you be careful now, said, because they could be saying that. He said, no, I, I really think they're serious this time, cuz. He said, because I, I made, it, made, it, made it definite with them. That the only way that I, he said, I, I, I told it on Oprah Winfrey show too. That the only way that I would do uh, 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 the Chappelle show again, it would have to be on my terms, my way, and and that um, uh, you know, and and the money that I make, even even if it wasn't fifty million, it would have to go to the people, and uh, but it had to be on my terms. So I said, okay, David. I said, well, do you trust him? David said, yeah. Well, I, David said, well, I, yeah, I think I can trust him this time. So I said, well, David, whatever the situation is, please give me a call. He said, you know, you know that's right, cuz. And so David left. We hung up. I should say, we hung up. I have not heard from David, not even today. I have not heard from David. Now, what I think is this. That Neil Brennan is a question mark, 100%. A question mark. I believe that David went there, and they uh, they discussed uh, once again about the fifty million. And I believe Neil Brennan was somewhere in that office. I believe he was somewhere in that office. And uh, then they told I'm I'm believing that they told David that they wanted him to see something, just like they did Bernie Mac. Oh yes, indeed. They took Bernie. Let me stop for, uh, on David for a few minutes. But they show um, uh, Bernie Mac uh, the cloning uh, lab, and they um, show Bernie Mac the loaning, I mean the cloning uh, lab, 
And he went down and he saw how people were being cloned. And uh, when Bernie Mac came forth, came back and told uh, uh, Steve Harvey and D.L. Hughley and, and a few others, and, uh, you know, that he saw the cloning lab and that uh, something had to be done to stop that, 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 this, that foolishness of what they were doing. Well, Steve Harvey and D.L. Hickley went back and told the top brass of the Illuminati, the dog circle, inner dog, dog circle, and what they did, they killed him. Okay, so now let's go, let's go back to David Chappelle. I'm truly believing that they told David they had something they wanted him to see. And they took David to the underground uh, cloning lab. And when they took David down there, and, uh, and, I, and I think that I'm believing that before they took David down there, they promised David that they would go along with his, with his deal, with David's deal, to get him to sign the contract. And I'm believing that David, you know, thinking that he would get back on the Chappelle show, working with Comedy Central, uh, that everything was going to be all right. And I'm believing that David signed that contract thinking that. And when he signed that contract, they wanted David to go and look at something else. It could have been maybe a new, telling him, that maybe it was a new studio or something of some kind or what have you. But they got David, after signing the contract, you can say in blood, and David thinking that he's just signing the contract because things were going to work his way. And then once he signed the contract, they took him someplace else, and the place that they took him to was to the underground lab. And when they got him down there, they cloned David. And when they cloned a person, and I want you to do your research, it's not like cloning, it's not like when um, a woman gets pregnant and they uh, 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 either eject her or, you know, to, for her to have a clone or the baby girl, however that goes. It's not like that. Cloning today only takes a couple, maybe to several hours, to be cloned. Well, this is what I strongly, strongly believe they did to David. They took him to this underground lab. And what they did, and they smiling in his face and, and you know, just going along with David so that, they, so that David would not yield up or fight or this sort of thing. And they, they cloned him. And once they cloned David Chappelle, then they killed David Chappelle. Okay, and once they killed David Chappelle, that was it. Now they could do anything. It only takes it only takes a, a few hours to do this. And once they did this, then they had full control of this new Dave Chappelle. Now, some of you are thinking that. When, when Dave first met, David first met with the executive, he signed his name in blood. I'm telling you all, no, he did not. When David first met, when they offered him the 50 million, no, he did not. No, he did not sign his name in blood. And I'm wondering if he signed his name in blood, you know, even when the second time he met these executives. Because now, if David refused on the first time, and he told me that he was finished with him, and then he told me that, you know, the only way he would go back, and I and I always believe because David had no reason to lie to me, his wife or his uh, his mother or any or any of, of his family. So, but now when he went back the second time, and I believe David refused, but you know, they had to they had to clone him. And then once they clone him, this is what I'm thinking too, maybe this is a second phrase that maybe I'm thinking of, that when they cloned him, then they got the clone to sign David's name for not only 50 million, but the 60 million as well. Okay. And so this uh, uh, this new uh, person that you see out, and I, well, let me say this. I had not heard from David when he was supposed to have met with 
uh, the executives the second time, and, and Dave promised me and assured me he would call me to let me know the outcome. I have not heard from David since. When I turned my television on and I saw this man there uh, on some kind of show, and he had one pants leg rolled all the way down, and the other one rolled all the way up, and they said this was Dave DePale. I said, Dave, who? And I went to the t television, and I looked, and I said, hell no, that ain't, that ain't no uh, David Chappelle, or no Dave Chappelle, no, no hell no. And uh, so I got on the cell phone, and I called my cousin David. And I called, the phone rang, and it rang, and it rang. I think it was maybe on the fourth or fifth ring that someone picked up the telephone and said, hello. I said, uh, yeah, let, let me speak to David. And the person on the other end said, who are you? I said, I'm David Chappelle's cousin. And the phone clicked. It clicked. It went, it went dead. So I, I called the number right back up again, and the phone rang, and it rang, and it rang. I never got in contact with David. Now, um, um, I called David's brother, William, you know. Didn't get an answer from him either. I don't know what had happened, but I didn't get an answer from him. But when I saw this man on television with one pants leg all the way down and the other pants leg rolled up, I knew damn well that was not no, not my cousin, not my Uncle William's son. Hell no. And, uh, and, uh, and when this new Dave had his pants leg rolled up, that was a symbol of the Masons. Now, David Chappelle was a practicing uh, Muslim. My cousin, Felicia, she's a practicing Muslim all the way. You see, um, you know, David has children that has Muslim names. Now, why would all of a sudden this David turn from Muslim to Mason? It didn't add up. Okay, and um, then when they began to show this new day uh, pictures of him, and I knew I knew dog, I knew dog and well that wasn't David Chappelle because now if you look at the old, and I'm going to show some pictures on here that with the JT uh, anti uh, uh, New World Movement is going to show pictures on here. I should say you're going to see the old David. Of in you know in 2016, and then you in maybe a year before, and you're going to see the 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 old David Chappelle, and you're going to see the new Dave Chappelle, and you would and then look at the comparison. Now the old David, you know, his eyes David had, you know, semi big eyes, but his eyes were more slanted than bulged out eyes. And David and I, we always talked about his weight. And I was, Dave, you know, you need to get. They said, no, cause I don't want to be big. I want to stay small. I said, well, why? Cause I can run fast. I can do things fast. David never believed in being a big husky type person. That no, this new person here today, they have him as a big husky type person, like a bodybuilder. His eyes are budging out of his head. His neck is as big as one of the wrestlers' neck, uh, necks on the uh, 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 WrestleMania. You see, that's not, I'm telling you, you all can believe what you want to believe, but I know what I know. The family, the Chappelle family knows this. This is not our family member. This is not my cousin. And, um, and, and sure, his birth name is David because my uncle's uh, 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 name Uncle William, his name was William David Chappelle. Okay, so uh, uh, William, his son, is named after Uncle Williams, but David uh, was named after the middle name of my uncle. And so now, so people would call him David, and some would call him Dave. It didn't matter. He, uh, David would answer to David or Dave. But this new day that they have out, it looks nothing, nothing like the old David Chappelle. Um, David would, you know, when, when David was, uh, the old David, he would have like a mustache. 
The New Day, they have a mustache, but, you know, a, 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 a slight mustache, but it looks like it's, it's, it's painted on his face. You know, it's not the, you know, it's not the, the, the mustache that the old David Chappelle, uh, uh, you know, have on, I mean, had. And so, you know, um, now, when they did, David made him a clone. Now, this is the thing now. They knew that his wife, and his children and his mother would know the difference. If they had, once they cloned David Chappelle and sent this new Dave back home, they would know the difference. This is not my husband. This is not my father. And this is not my son. So what they had to do, then they made threats to David earlier about taking out his wife, his children, and his mother. They told David at one time, this was all uh, 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 after they asked David to, uh, uh, to quit smashing on the black race as far as the character that, that he was playing on the Chappelle show. And um, they told David, too, that if he didn't stop, they would take out his mother, they would take out his wife, they would take out his children. And so now they knew that once they cloned this uh, this. Uh, 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 Dave or David, whatever you want to call him, but I I, I know him as David. Um, that once he goes back to Ohio, the family would know that this is not the man. This is not no hell no, that ain't my husband. Uh, because now you have to go to um, it's a man of Russia, Putin. When his when because when, when Putin is cloned to whether you believe it or not, but you do your research and find out these things now here. And when Putin was cloned, his wife said, when, when, they, when they sent him back home, she said, she got on the, in front of the cameras, she told everybody, this man is not my husband. She said, no, this is not my husband. This is a different man. And she saw the difference that they, that this man had, had, had brought forth. Well, she was beginning to run her mouth a little bit too much. So what did they do? Not, they didn't do it until... Uh, Putin's wife was going to divorce Putin. And so what did they do? They, they, uh, they cloned her. They cloned her. And now if they, you ask her if Putin is her husband, she'll tell you, yes, that's my husband. And when, and if you do your research on it, you'll find uh, 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 statements and, 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 and bulletins and that where she said, at one time, that's not my husband. I don't know who this man is. This is an imposter that, that, that I'm living with. And, you know, do your research and find out find out what she's saying. And so they figured if they send David back home to his wife, his children, and his mother, they would say the same thing. So they had to do something. And so what they did before they sent David back home to his family, they cloned his wife, Elaine. They cloned his children, and they cloned his mama, my aunt. And they cloned all of them. And so now they were able to send David back home to them, and they don't know the difference. And you know why they don't know the difference? Because they all have been cloned. They all have been cloned. And, uh, and if you go to them and ask them uh, of the things, you know, uh, that I said about David, they, they'll look at you and say, oh, oh, oh no, 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 you know, something is wrong with her. You know, she's, um, and, you know, they'll say this. Well, naturally, they'll say this. So like they did with Princess Diana. Princess Diana knew so much. And uh, but what did they do? They cloned her. But see, uh, the brain part of uh, Princess Diana, the original, came into the brain of the uh, clone Diana. And so the clone Diana, because as you know, Princess Diana, the original one, you know, she used to crawl all the time. You used to, you, do your research now. She used to crawl all the time. She would wipe away tears and this sort of thing. And, and so the clone Diana did the same thing. And Queen Elizabeth had, t had taken this so long and so much. And they were unassured, they were unassured if the clone Diana would take on the concept of the original Diana by going and telling the things that she knew, that she knew that the original uh, uh, Diana knew. So what did Queen Elizabeth, 
and she didn't directly do it, but she had to order sit down. And so what did uh, what did uh, they do? They had her killed in a in a car accident to kill off the clone. So there will be no more Dianas to speak of. And so that's why they cloned David's wife, mother, and children, because they knew that David loved his family. And it wouldn't look right for David and his all of his family to just all of a sudden, you know, uh, but especially his family to, to die or something of, of that nature. So they had to uh, clone them as well. And now they're living ha happily ever after as clones on the farm in Ohio, in Yellow Springs, Ohio. And so and what they're doing off of this clone David, they are you they're going to use this clone David to make money off of. Oh, they're going to push this clone David. <clears throat> they're going to push him and push him. They're going to make so much money off of him until they can't make enough. And once they have made enough, then they're going to kill off the clone. But you see that if you compare, if you listeners out there compare the original David to this new David, the original David Chappelle made people like this man. The, the original was funny. I mean, he was funny. He told you, I mean, he would tell jokes to me, and I would just laugh like that. <clears throat> but now this new clone, he's not as funny as the old David is. There are things that the old David um, did that this new David doesn't even do. He doesn't. And if you listen, but you have to listen closely to this clone's voice. Listen very, I'm telling you, listen very closely. This new clone does not, because I've picked it up and several other Chappelle family members have picked it up. This new clone does not have, have the original tone voice that David Chappelle had. You see, does not have it. And then um, this new clone has David Chappelle's brain, his mindset. Now, David Chappelle, and I do believe this with my heart and my soul, because as I stated before, David and I, we were very, very close. I knew every gesture, every word that David would say. Sometimes I would say something and David would finish it. David would say something and I would finish it. The many times that David would come to the different cities or states and do his comedy shows, even at the comedy clubs, I was there. I was there. The time he came to Washington, D.C., because I'm in New York. I live in New York. But the time he came to Washington, D.C., Dave called me and told me to come on down to the Warner Club. I was there. And, I, and if you get the video, if you get that video of David being at the Warner Club in D.C., David will tell you on that stage, I have, a, I have family members in the audience. Well, you know who that family members was? It was me and my damn family. And after... Uh, uh, the show was over. I went behind the stage, and I talked to my David, my my cousin. You see what I'm saying? So, I do believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that David, when they, when it, when they, uh, when they cloned David, David was fighting all the way. I mean, he was resisting, was resisting, and um, they didn't inject him with anything. No, they, uh, uh, and if David signed anything. If David signed a second contract, it was because David was believing, because he said, the only way I'll redo the Chappelle show is that things have to be the way I want them to be. The funds will have to go to the people. He said it on Oprah Winfrey, and he said it to me. And so they had David thinking and believing. I do believe that's the way it would be. That's the, and, and to get him down, and to, well, to get, not get him down, but to take him to the underground, the underground cloning lab. And once they got him there and David saw what it was, David wanted to get the hell out of there, but they, they, they no, they, they held him against his wishes. And when they held him against his wishes, that's when they put him in the, in the, in the, in the, in the cloning lab thing or whatever they put him in, and that's when they cloned him. And once they got a replica of David Chappelle, then they killed the original David Chappelle. They killed his ass. But they knew they were not ready to send him back home to his family yet. They knew they had to, to, to do something with the family to make it believable that the one that they were sending back to them was the original. 
This is how these people worked. I'm telling you, and I know what I'm talking about. And um, because David, you know, David was a funny man. David had, he didn't have many friends. After he thought about his life, David didn't have many, many friends because the friends that he had, they turned on. And that was, and I truly believe that was that Neil uh, 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 Brennan turned on him but the things that he said what neil brennan said about david and that was david's buddy you see what i'm saying and that's how it is in the show business world and so when you look at the, this this new being on television and the man not even uh, funny this is not the original david Chappelle. you all go pay money to see his shows and and the money that you're paying it's not going to david's family because david's family is is, is a bunch of coons you're paying money to the Illuminati. That's who you're paying the money to. And so, and so David's, uh, 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 then this David, if this David is not even funny, his his jokes that he he, he tells, he, he you know, and I look and I try to, you can't laugh at, at, at because it's, because the man is nothing like the original. He doesn't, and if you listen to it, the tone of book, he doesn't even sound like the uh, the uh, old original David. And so, and it breaks me to my heart because I know now that I'll never, I never, and I haven't received a, another phone call from my cousin David. Uh, and, and and it breaks me to my heart that I will never receive a, a phone call from David. We'll never receive another another visit from him. You see, and 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 it's sad. It is really sad when David he found himself. He wanted to do. He wanted to give a uh, get away from show business. And he said the only reason why he would come back to do the Chappelle show is that he would have to do it his way. And these people, whomever they are, they made him believe, yeah, well, they, and, you know, and, and, and I'm pretty sure it sounds convincing. They made him think and believe that they, this is the way we're going to do it. We'll do it your way. And because they had all the intentions of taking Dave out, just like they did Martin Lawrence, just like they did Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac, and there are other stars that they have uh, 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 taken out. You see, and we think that they have died just in their sleeps, or or they, you know, and and you know, or, or something of of this nature happens to them, or something of that nature happens to them. You see, or they're one way, uh, they're one way before, and then they come back after a certain period of absence, and they come back a different way. This David has no soul. He has no 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 spirit. Sure, he can eat and drink like any and, and like you and I can. He can drink like you and I can. He can bleed like you and I can. But the thing about it, he has no soul and no spirit. He don't. These type of uh, clones are called synthetic robotoids, and that's what David, uh, this new Dave Chappelle is. He's a synthetic robotoid. That's what Britney Spears is. That's what all the other of these uh, uh, singers and actors and actresses and comedians, that's what all of them are. And they have warned each and every one. They have told each and every one of them, uh, each and every one of us, how, you know, they hate they got into the business. Kanye West has said the same thing. Con they, Kanye West has spoken about, you know, how he gave up his mother as a sacrifice. How, you know, he, you know, how the business is. He he has told us about that, Britney Spears and and, um, and 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 you know I could go on and list and list and list, but there's so many, you see what I'm saying? But David he tried to tell people about the business when they went from the time that he stepped out of the executive office of the torture and what they put upon him and what they said to him, it scared him so bad that he had to get away. To, and that's why he went to Africa. That's exactly why he went. But when he went to Africa, he had not signed his name in blood. So all of you who saying that he did, stop it. You stop it because he did not sign his name in blood. I know. I talked to the man even after he came out of the, the, the meeting with the executive. I talk with him, and I could I could also tell you, you know, some things that how I really really know of how he talked to me about the things that went in at, at the meeting, you know, with the executive. But I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that because that's why I'm keeping my voice uh, uh, anonymous because they'll come after me too. You see, they'll come after me, so I'm not going to go into debt as to. 
uh, of the things beyond our conversations that uh, uh, David and I had, or the meetings that we have had, or the dinner talks, or the uh, the little uh, drinks after you know that we've had. You know, no, I'm not going to do that. I uh, I have pictures of me and David together, and David, uh, my uncle, um, my uncle William, and the rest of the family members. I have pictures of us at the family reunions. I even have pictures of the times that I went to uh, the sh uh, David's uh, show, and he uh, and him asking me to come on down, cause I have pictures of that. You see, but um, uh, I don't have to prove to you because I know that, you know, who he, the same blood that David had running in his veins and in his body, the original David is the same blood that I have. We were first cousins. This new clone that, that's out there is nothing to me. He's not my cousin. I don't know this person. So he's nothing. My aunt, um, um, aunt Yvonne, <laughs> no, uh-uh, uh-uh. None of them people on that side it means anything to me anymore because they're all clones. Now you can believe it, you can accept it, or you can reject it. But I know what I know, and uh, and it's a sad thing because now I know that I uh, will never receive any phone calls. I will to to, to tell me or to ask me, cause come on down. I will never uh, laugh again, especially from him. And there's a whole lot of things that I will be missing out that comes directly from. David to me. And uh, so you all out there, you, you made your own thoughts, your own theories, um, you know, you, you, uh, things on YouTube or whatever, wherever you have it at, that you can put together the pieces of what you think that David did, the pieces that you did. No, sweetheart, I know what David did. And uh, because David, he let me know all the way up until the minute. And he was supposed to call me after the second visit from the, the, the executives. And Oprah Winfrey, I'm telling you, you know, Oprah Winfrey, Al Sharpton, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, and, and there was a few others, and Al Sharpton, I mean, uh, I, I said uh, Jesse Jackson, and a few, and did you know that, and let me tell you this too, did you, David told me this too, did you know that David and my auntie Vaughn went to a theater one day to see a movie, and when uh, uh, David told me that, uh, uh, his mother, Aunt Yvonne, had went to the bathroom. Now, and then Al Sharpton came up to him and told him that he didn't like what he was doing, that what that what that David was doing in betraying the blacks on, on the Chappelle show. You know, did you all know that? No, I didn't get this. This is what my cousin David told me. And he told me some other things, too, that I'm not going to go in, into details about because, like I said, this is why I am... Um, keeping my voice anonymous, because they, they have come after me. So there are a few things I can say and a few things I can't say, but I do know what they a fact, 175%, that the man that you see on TV as Dave Chappelle is nothing but a robot toy clone. That's all he is. He has no blood running in his veins. Oh, yes. You cut, you, you cut him. Oh, he'll bleed. But it's not the blood like David Chappelle had, had veins all over his body. And um, um, this man here, his jokes is not funny. I want no parts of this new um, this new clone. And I found out that this new Dave Chappelle went to the White House. Now, David Chappelle never, ever went to the White House. Never, ever been inside the White House on the White House ground. Now, this new clone is at the White House. He's hanging with every Tom, Dick, and her. He's there, here, everywhere. The old David didn't do that. The old David didn't do that. That's why he bought the farm in Ohio, to have his freedom, to have his privacy. Sure, when it needed be, yeah, he was around certain of the people that was that starred on his uh, uh, Chappelle show. Uh, and David was crazy about Charlie Murphy. Yes, Charlie Murphy was another one of his buddies. Now, this new clone David killed Charlie Murphy, had Charlie Murphy killed. Believe what I'm saying now. This new Dave Chappelle, this clone, made Charlie Murphy a blood sacrifice. This new clone. Why? Why? Because it has to continue to be uh, money coming in. Now, I talked to Charlie Murphy on the telephone, too. Not in length like I did with my cousin David, but there were times when I would talk to Charlie. Hey, um, 
Hey, uh, little uh, cuz, you know, well, how you doing? So I'm fine, Charlie. How you doing? I'm hey, I'm okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm with uh, I'm with Dave. I said, yeah, I see that you with Dave. So and each time that I would talk with him, his voice was strong. His, his voice was strong. And, you know, asked him how he was doing this sort of thing. And like I said, I didn't talk to Charlie Murphy like I would with Dave. And it wasn't no constant uh, talking to Charlie Murphy like I did with with, with uh, Dave with Chappelle. But I do want to say this, is that this new Dave made Charlie Murphy a sacrifice. Because, and the reason why is because that you have to do it in order to go higher. And this is what they, Bigham, the dark inner circle, the Illuminati had to have this new Dave Chappelle to do to go higher. So whether you believe this or not, Everything that I've said to you is nothing but the truth. You have your own uh, theories that you want to give, that you think that happened to uh, David Chappelle, my cousin, or uh, uh, even with Charlie Murphy. Um, you can think what you want to believe. But I'm telling you, uh, listeners out there, it's sad to me and it breaks my heart to know that my cousin, a person that was in my life, his father and my father were brothers, and they and it, and it hurts me to know that the the child that my uncle William gave birth to, well his his wife did, uh, is no longer here with us anymore, and they are perpetrating this new clone, and I consider him as a demonic spirit. That's all he is. And, wait, he's demonic. He has no spirit to portray himself as the original and ongoing David or Dave Chappelle. So I wanted to come forth to let you all know the truth. Now, you can say, I'm just like uh, Billy here on the JT um, Anti-New World Order. I'm just like Billy. You can say what you will or may say about being. And, uh, as Billy said once also, you can call me crazy and you can call me this or call me that. But you or no one else will ever erase the memories that my cousin David Chappelle and I had together. You can never erase that. You can never take away the pictures that we shared together at, at family reunions and um you know, uh, uh, in other places that we uh, gather together, you can never erase uh, that from my mind. This new clone who's going around saying he's Dave Chappelle, you know, I, I want no parts of this man. I want no parts of his family um, because they're not my family. I, I don't care whether if they suggested that, you know, you know, uh, have to have him to call to have me to come down to one of his shows, I will not go. You're not going to get me like they got the original Dave Chappelle. I'm not going because, see, I know in my heart, deep in my heart, that this man is not the man that my Uncle William gave birth to. And so I'm letting you all know that Dave did not sign his name in blood when he first met with the executives. He did not. And I doubt very seriously if he signed his name in blood the second time he met with the executives. You all are saying this because this is all what you think. Dave was well enough to take care of his family, his wife, his children, his mother, his um, and his farm. Dave was already taken care of. You see, but he only thing that they he loved doing comedy and he wanted to do something with the with his name included in it <clears throat> and that was the Chappelle comedy show and I believe he was tricked into doing the comeback thinking he was going to do just that to re, to, to renew it affiliated from a uh, comedy central so you all can keep on flourishing with what you think that happened, you know, and you'll never know the truth. Because do you think that the, the executives is going to tell you the truth? Do you actually think that? Hell no. 
These people have been lying for years. Listen to, to the stars. Listen to what Little Wing say has said. Listen to uh, 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 what um, Kanye West has said. Britney Spears. Uh, Nicki Minaj. Look at what Nicki Minaj have said. Just do your research and listen to what these people have said about how they wish they had never, ever gotten into that. But you know something? You'll never hear this new clone saying that. But the old David Chappelle did. You'll never, ever hear this new clone speaking anything against the Illuminati. Oh, he'll talk about the Illuminati, but he won't speak against them. But David Chappelle did. He said it on the Oprah Winfrey show. He, sh he said it on the studio acting uh, 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 stage to all of those young people out there who wanted to, uh, to become comedians and, and actors and actresses. He told them that. You see, so you all continue to believe what you want to believe, but only I have the evidence. Only I know the truth. And some of that evidence and the truth, and I know the truth will stay in my heart for, until the day that I die. You see, and as I stated before, Dave Chappelle, David Chappelle, has a lot of Chappelle uh, family. And majority of the Chappelle family are teachers. Morehouse College once was. We have a, um, uh, uh, a person right here on television today that's a, that's a member of the family. Sure, they may spell their name, C-H-A-P-P-E-L-L, -L, but they're still a part of the roots come from the Chappelle family. The roots come from. And people are talking, the family are talking about this clown, C-L-O-W-N, this clown that's on television today portraying himself as Dave Chappelle. You see, one, one pants leg down, the other one rolled up, and he's portraying himself as a mason when we all know that the original David Chappelle was a practicing Muslim. His sister, Felicia, is a practicing Muslim. His children are named, have Muslim names. So all of a sudden now, he's a, he, he's a Mason. That's bullshit. And I hate that. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying what Billy says. You know, that's, bull, that's bullshit. You see, so, um, you know, you, you know, I just, I, I'm so sad and hard now because my cousin David died, and he died the day he went into that executive office thinking that he was going to get what he always wanted, the Chappelle show to be reinstated on his terms. That was the day that he died. And so I, I just come forth to let you all know the truth. Now, you can accept it, as I said before. You can reject it, or you can, you know, you can believe it. I don't, I don't care what you believe. But we know who that man is on TV is not the man that my Uncle William, now my Uncle William uh, uh, helped produce. Now, you can go ask his mother, Aunt Yvonne, well, she's not even my aunt anymore, but you can go ask her, and she'll tell you, oh, you know, um, she's, um, oh, you know, no, that's, that's, you know, David has his own way. Now, Dave has his own, and, and, and naturally, she's going to say that. Yeah, she's going to say that because she's a damn clown. Her, the children, and his wife. They have no souls. They have no spirits. But they can eat like you and I can eat. They can drink like you and I can drink. So, you know, I just wanted to, like I said before, I just, again, I'm getting tired now, but I just wanted to come forth and share this with you because I have heard so many theories, so many theories. There's so many people giving this side and that side and this side and that side. And it's only one side to it. And that's and I, I that's the side that I know. And like I said, I can I mean, I have some things now. But this is why I'm keeping my voice in anonymous because they will come after me. They will kill me. Yes, they would. They would kill me. They would kill me. And if I, if they knew what I knew, that I knew for a fact that this clown, C-L-O-W-N, is not my cousin, David Chappelle. If they, 
I know what I know. So I just, like, once again, I'm, I'm going to get finished with this. I just wanted to uh, let you all know. And uh, so stop your theories. Stop what, stop the make-believe. Stop saying what you think could happen. Or uh, that he signed his name and contract with, you know, when he left the, the, the executive office. And, uh, uh, you know, and David, he needed money. And, and David, did, no, he didn't. All the shit that you're saying is not true. And I'm not saying this because... David and I, we were closer, and the fact that we're cousins, I'm saying this because I know what I'm talking about. And I can bust your eyes and ears open with knowledge. I better not go too far though with this. I better not go too far because I don't want to tell everything, but I know. I know. His wife doesn't know. I know. His wife probably would have known. But I know because now she's a clone and the children and he had and David had a beautiful little girl. And I'm, and, you know, and I'm not going to, uh, to tell you her name, but he got Muslim names, the, his daughter and his two sons. And she was the most. And I and I, I you know, she looked like um, Elaine. But then when you really look at her. She has David's features too, and his sons did as well. And David loved those children. He loved those children, and he loved the lame. But today, <laughs> David doesn't even see them half as much. This new Dave doesn't see them half as much. Why? It's because they don't have the soul. They don't have that spirit like David had for his wife when he was yet alive. You see, when you're alive, you can love. When you have the blood running down your veins and you have that soul, you can love that person. You know, you can love that, that, that wife of yours. You can love that children. And you don't want to spend time away from those children and your wife. You can love that mother. You know, you don't want to spend time away from them. You want to spend, you want to do your job and come back home to your family because you love them. <laughs> well, this new Dave is not going to do that. He can't do that because without a soul, without a spirit, without a heart warming blood in your body, how can you feel that way? You can't feel that way. And they don't feel that way towards, towards him. But just go back and listen to the old original David Chappelle and what he said about his family. This man was crazy about his wife, number one, his children, number two, and his mother. And go back to the fact of what he said about Uncle William, his father. This man, this man Uncle Williams was the was the, the turning point in David's life. David could go to him. Sure, there were some times when David, you know, we were all young and, and David, you know, he was a little smart and Alec kid, this sort of thing. And But David was crazy about his father. Uncle William and Uncle William would just sit back sometime and look at David and, and, and not only at David, but at his other son, William Jr. too. Those are my boys. <laughs> You know, and he was crazy about his daughter, his youngest daughter, Felicia, who's now a full bloom practicing Muslim. You see, but today, this new clown, C-L-O-W-N, will never, ever feel that way about his wife, children. Oh, they can try to pretend, but they can't, you know, but you know, it's not, look at, um, I, I, I want to say one more thing too before I, before I get ready to go. We have the president of the United States of America, Donald Trump. And we have his wife, uh, Melania, Melina, Melina, uh, whatever her name is. I can't, I can't pronounce it correctly. But now, Donald Trump is a clone. Oh, yes, he's a clone. And his wife is too. But when you see them two together, they show no love. He doesn't show the love for her like Obama showed for his, I mean, uh, for for his, him, I, her, no, <laughs> for, let me put it, Michelle. See, but Donald Trump 
there's no love. You know, when he kisses her, take notice of these things, people. When he kisses her, it's not the kiss of love. You see, when he holds her hand, it's not the holding hands of compassion. It's the holding hands and the kissing because it's the formal thing to do of a robotoid. So that's why you don't see any love, really a, a, a special love going from him to her and her to him. But they're acting like everyday people going back and forth, back and forth, up and down, this sort of thing. And people will say, well, those are human beings. But you better think, you better think about it, you see. And that's how this new clone, Dave Chappelle, and his wife, and his children and his mother's going to be. They're going to go through a routine because it was programmed into their brain to be to, and to do what they're supposed to do to the ones uh, that they call their spouses. See, even though they took the brain out of David Chappelle, not the brain actually, but the mind concepts of David Chappelle into this new Dave. But still, they had to program him to do what was told of him to do by programming him. This is a robot toy. So you have to understand that. So, you know, um, <laughs> you know, these people today, this new um, clone and his wife, Elaine, and their children, and uh, and the mother, Yvonne, they're going to go through the procedures as mother to son, wife to husband, and the children to father. But it's not going to be like the original. Like the original. You can go out there and buy a pair of shoes that was made by the original. And then you can lose those shoes and go out there and get another pair that looks exactly like the original. But somehow or another, they won't fit right. It'll be something loose on that new pair of shoes that's not affiliated with the original. They won't be able to walk right because it's not affiliated with the original. You will be able to tell if you just check it a little, check it closely and wisely that the shoe, this new shoe, is not the same as the original. And you people, if you have minds, you'll take notice of that. And that's all I can say. But I want no parts. He's not my cousin. Uh, Yvonne is not my aunt. Elaine, she's not <laughs> She's not David's wife. And the children as well. I don't know these people. Um, we're going to still continue to have the Chappelle family reunion. Now, he may come, they, they, you know, they, they, they may give orders for him to come, I won't be there. Because there are still some in the Chappelle family that recognize this damn C-L-O-W-N as the original. You see, because they don't have the, the evidence that I have. They don't have the memory that I have. So, you know, you can fool some of the people some of the time. But you're not going to fool this damn bitch none of the time. You see, I just want to leave you with that. So just continue on making your theories or making your thoughts as to what you think or what you think you know. But it all comes back to what I know and what I have to know for a F period, A period, C period, T period that this C-L-O-W-N is not my cousin. So I just wanted to bring forth this, and I thank you, uh, JT Anti-New World Order, for allowing me to be able to come forth to speak this. And I'm so sorry that uh, uh, to you and to your listeners, the listeners, that I have to be anonymous, but I'm going to protect myself as much as I can. Um, so... I, I do want to thank you, and um, if there's anything that I can do to in the future to um, to uh, help you out or to let you know what's going on, please feel free to call me again. 
So to all of you who are listening out there, make your replies, say what you want to say, but just know one thing, I am the original. <laughs> I am the original. I have blood running up and down my veins. I have a spirit. And I have all the memories and all the evidence of what I know and whom I know of the original David Chappelle, my first cousin. Good night.